Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be showing you the strongest Nocturne jungle build in the game right now, and that is to rush down Ravenous Hydra into Jack Show. Funny enough, neither one of them are favorite items on Nocturne, even though both of them are two of his highest win rate items in the game. So yeah, we're gonna be going for Ravenous into Jack Show. The third item is semi-situational. If you need armor, you typically go for Death's Dance. If you need magic resist, you would go for a Maw. Nocturne's a full clear, gank style jungler, extremely easy and consistent to play. Because after you finish your full clear, whether your gank is successful or not, you can always reset and repeat the process of full clearing once again and then ganking. There's very little risk and very consistent reward involved. Nocturne's main weakness is having to play against Rams right now because Rams is OP. It's also really hard to play against things like Mundo, super tanky junglers that you can never kill. It forces you to focus their teammates, which takes away your option to just kind of play backline on your own team. It's still doable, but ideally Nocturne plays best against squishier champions. With that being said, he does have good armor penetration options with things like Black Cleaver. And uh, even going for things like Bork, which do quite well. That was a way over leash there. I was kind of worried she was going to steal it on purpose. It's very strange to see someone leash for that long. Got a point in RW. She's still going to get full XP at least. Generally, if you are leashing, you want to stop leashing at 138. So you leash for 8 seconds, leave, and you should be able to get there for all 3 minions. That being said, it still looks like she got all of them, so good for her. You want to get your W level too, because it's lots of attack speed constantly, and if you block an enemy ability with it, it's even more attack speed for 5 seconds, and you block all the damage. Red jungle item is generally best on Nocturne right now, since they nerfed the green one. The red one gives you an AoE damage and slow. The slow is really useful for staying on top of people. Before you have a full item, you'll be using your E a lot against your monster camps because it's a free auto attack worth the damage at 80. It's pretty solid. You want to try to fight things on top of your trail for the extra AD and movement speed. So if possible, you want to launch it towards your next camp. It's not always a good option though based on your positioning. Sometimes you got to just lay it down. Regardless of how suboptimal it, it may be. Rengar ganked already? I don't know. How did we already see him with 4 CS? He showed somewhere. If you do get a leash on Nocturne, you'll usually be finishing around 315 to 320. His full clear is slightly faster than a Master Yi's full clear. We'll go ahead and pop potion for full HP. And we can gank the Quinn. It's between Flash, Ghost, and Ignite. Ghost is usually better for Hyper Carry. Otherwise, Ignite's best for Scuttle Fight. And Ghost is just best. Ghost is best, Ignite's best for Solo Fights, and Flash is eh. I'm not going to use my fear on this. I can't save him. He's too low. I can solo Rengar here, so I'll leave that there, and then I'll take it here in a second. He's going to walk over and be a greedy little butthole. Hey, friend. I spell shielded that. And I'm also on ghost. That was a decent flash. I'll give that to him. Hey, Quinn. You're dead, though. You're dead, and... Uh, I don't know if we can kill her here. With how Rengar positioned, I ended up not finishing the scuttle. I needed one more attack. We got Q speed up off of her. I want to W her ability. She hasn't used it yet, though. And down she goes. Beautiful. Ideally, the scuttle would have bounced back to us and we would have autoed it. But if we took it, he would have seen it. And then he wouldn't have approached the bush anymore. If you gank top before you go for scuttle crab, you need to assume the enemy jungler is going to be there. Like he needed to assume we were going to be there. Because 9 out of 10 times, junglers start bot and they clear top. Especially as a full clear style jungler. So he, he shouldn't have gone for that after he was already missing HP from the gank. It was way too risky. LeBanc missed her chain. Now it's kind of too risky for me because the Rengar. I know he's in the area. I'll just go ahead and take this. I would like to take Krugs first. My rocks over there. That way we can do a proper full clear. I'm not going to be able to though. We may not need it to get level 6 because if we go topside gank, Gromp Wolves, we can R mid lane. Since our camps are up and we're full HP, it doesn't really make sense to back here. Whenever you hit monsters with your trail, it doesn't stick to them. 
like it does champions. Whenever you hit champions, your trail will follow them at that point, giving you a constant movement speed bonus. Mm, down he goes. I can't do anything here. You know, maybe I can. These guys are actually crazy low. I'm honestly surprised they got that low on health. They're really trying to kill Senna. Senna's able to heal herself off of using her Q. She barely survived. Was not expecting to get a kill there at all. I didn't have items and they had all have gold spent. So fighting there is kind of awkward. Let's go for Ravenous. Pick up TM out. Pick up that. Get this. Red buff up in 35. I'll push Wolves into red. We'll be level 6 pre-7 minute 30. Your goal as a jungler is to hit level 6 pre-7 30. It's a good time. If you're hitting it later than that, you probably over ganked. Or you're just under farmed. Most jungle champions can consistently hit 7 minute 30. Rengar might be a little late though. He's been dying a lot. He's a little under farmed. He's playing super heavy for kills. Trying to stack his passive, I suppose. His bone tooth necklace. He has one kill, two assists. I suppose he has three then. Three total. He needs two more. One from me and one from somebody else. Quinn gets a kill on our top laner, but he also kills her. Not bad. I'll go mid here. She's no flash. This is free. I spell shielded. We didn't actually block anything, but just in case she did throw down an immediate CC, the spell shield's where it's at. Down she goes. Since we knew she didn't have flash, we didn't need the LeBlanc. I was trying to let her get as close as possible, though. We have level advantage. I got ghost on. He's dead. 90% bonus movement speed. Down he goes. I probably didn't need to ghost. I was just trying to make sure I got in that last auto attack. Better safe than sorry. I don't know where Quinn is. Got a path towards LeBlanc for safety, just in case. Quinn's collapsing from this area. We don't want to give her gold. We don't have boots and we're missing a big chunk of HP. She could have easily kite us out if she's already in her bird form. So it turns out she went bot side. I can heal back up off passive real quick. Pinged it out for LeBlanc. She gets a bit of damage off. My jungle is split up right now. It's kind of weird. She's actually, she was actually able to kill the Quinn. That's surprising. I was not expecting that. And she gets away. Okay. This LeBlanc with the happy feet. They must have chased the wrong one. I'm sitting on a Titanic. Or I should say a Ravenous here. Backing is solid. My teammates also don't have a control ward. Okay, there it is. Rengar could probably one tap her there. Oh, it hit. I have the speed up if I can get on the trail. Oh, he's dead, buddy. You're dead. Yeah, he's got nowhere to go. That's unfortunate for him. I have my lethal tempo kind of stacked. If I can get some kind of something something here. And I'm dead. Holy crap, dude. We took so much damage there from him. That's... I suppose that's my bad. I think they were level 5 when I started that, but when they killed me, they both got level 6. So, limit test gone wrong. I already had the lethal tempo stacked up and was fairly healthy. Thought we could easy win that fight. Apparently not. Lulu no R and uh, Aphelios no R. I could probably go in and kill them both here. I have a complete item advantage and they don't have R's. She just used, I think, her polymorph right there too. It might still be on a cooldown. I should probably go for him over her. Since he's doing all the damage. They peeled off to the side. Rengar's on Scuttle. Hey, friend. Got it. Got the smite as well. We land Q, so I'm getting the speed up. Rengar's moving pretty quick, though. Shutdown's nice. Starting the dragons are really greedy as a jungler, especially pre-full item. You're risking so much if the enemy jungler is alive. For example, our whole team was alive. He was trying to tempo it down. So much risk involved there. They lost their Felio shutdown, which was... Total of 700 gold. Not bad. 
Very solid. My topside jungle's up. Kind of in a weird spot over here. I can't fight a Felios Lulu underneath their turret without R. I'm also missing Ghost. The best move here by R is on a cooldown is to hit wraps, full clear up, skip the Krugs since we're already in the middle. If we do Krugs, our ult's going to be up by the time we're kind of doing blue buff. So we might as well tempo towards the R cooldown right now. Typically, you max your E second. The fear goes up, damage goes up by a lot, cooldown goes down. W per level does go down by about 2 seconds. The attack speed doesn't go up by very much though. I could loop back around for Felios. I think I'd rather just take Harold for guaranteed. They keep running away. They seem to be really scared. Don't even really have time to do Gromp before my R comes up here. I'm going to push this away from Rengar bushes over there. See if this is warded. Oh, it is. Should be able to solo Rengar. Hover cursor. All right, we're good to go. Oh, he already popped plant. He's probably over here then. Hey, friend. Down goes the Quinn, and he's tanky as heck. That's first turret gold. Rengar's bot side. He does have red buff, seemingly. That's solid. They lose Harold. Hopefully my bot lane doesn't die to the Rengar cheese that they see coming. Rengar is such a tempo heavy champion. If he doesn't get off a lot of cheese early game, it's hard for him to do anything. Rengar isn't very meta right now. Playing lethality heavy builds in general right now is crap. The only exception is Eclipse. Eclipse is the only lethality item that's just genuinely really good. Rengar did end up getting a kill mid there. I think it's a good time to... Well, maybe not. Thinking about getting tier 2 boots and a full item on this back. Or straight up, straight up buying jack show. Quinn's also being incredibly greedy. I think I could solo her. Or blow my ghost at the minimum. And kill her with my top laner. She's only tier 1 boots. I don't, I don't even need a ghost here. Got her with the smite. Just the smite alone is probably going to be enough. Where is she? What in the world? Down she goes. It cost me a ghost, but I mean, she used her flash. Flash is a much longer cooldown. I can't believe they're still playing that heavy bot side. They've shown there for so long, but they're still there. They're going to lose a lot off their top side. Question is, can I do anything there? With Orianna shield and Lulu shield, I probably can't kill anybody. Whoever I go on is going to get turbo pilled for. Ori left a ward on my raptor, so they felt comfortable that I wasn't over there. Those turds. I almost have jungle item finished. Only need one or two more camps. If we could get a treat, this would be the last camp. Treats count as two camps. And every camp counts as one, so treats count as an additional two. For a total of three. Maybe we still need one more camp now. It's a good time to reset. Sitting on plated. And jack show. Don't mind if I do. Dragon's coming up. It's not uncommon to have to give up the first dragon on Nocturne, especially if you're not level 6. If the enemy jungler is forcing at level 4, level 5, or if your level 6 is heavily delayed, like around 8 minute mark, you usually have to give it up. But if you're level 6 and the enemy team tries to start the first dragon, you can usually fight it like what we did here. But at the very least, you shouldn't give up second dragon for free. If you know you can win the fight, or at the very least, if they start it, they'll lose the fight, make sure you're there. I think if they start the dragon, they'll lose it, because they don't have anyone tanky to really tank it. What are you doing, Lulu? Oh my goodness. All right, we got our flash and we also got our activatable item. It's kind of interesting. Ooh, Senna's way, 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 way out of position here. I get the fear, down he goes. 
we need to position here. I don't have my R's this thing, and I need one more monster camp. It's not warded. Let's see if he's in here. Can blame my Herald, force him to maybe group bot side while we take this, or if they try to mess with us on dragon then we'll kill them on it i use w to block dragon autos every dragon auto is coded as an ability hit so we can block it and get more attack speed and thus take it faster cool we get turret there i've also finished my jungle item now oh my goodness wow okay that's kind of op that's really good against peel supports other than Yumi. Because I don't think he can separate Yumi if she's on her carry. With like a Lulu Janna, Kasante can pick them up and nope. Nope them hard. Down she goes. You spell shield on impact. It lasts for a second and a half. Your fear takes a second and a half to go off. So ideally... You're using your fear in midair before you technically land. You can use your Q and your E in midair before you technically land. That way, whenever you use your W, it can't really CC you. And then they'll be feared and you kill them either feared. Okay, at this point, it is time for Death's Dance, 100%. Really useful ability haste on it. I'll ghost for this once you can see me. I don't want to let him get away. Got him with my slow, and we'll walk him down. I'm really fast here. Alright, well maybe he does get away. <laughs> That's kind of funny, actually. I think he actually gets away there. Dang. That blast cone saved him really hard. It was a good blast cone on his part. I was going to be able to run him down with 35% increased movement speed by, by being on trail. He still hasn't finished his jungle item. He's pretty far behind in his CS aspe aspect. He's been over ganking so much. Oh, this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Diving them all underneath turret is not the move. He just got a lot of gold. Block Rengar's attack and down he goes. Drag Soul's definitely the win con. Phalios is two full item. He's up essentially 3k gold over our AD carry. We can't fight underneath turret like that. There's no way. Absolutely no way. Red buff up in 40. Dragon up in 2 minute. I need a path into Herald here. I can't really afford any items so there's no reason to back. All I'm doing is healing up before the Herald fight. I'm on my way for it. R's coming up as well. Kind of have to focus the Aphelios. It's not easy though. Because if Lulu and Orianna both shield him, it puts us in a weird spot where we just legit can't kill him. Because he's also fed. So you know anything about them having two enchanters. I should also have the blue, blue ward level 9. Hey friend. You're feared. You can't hit me. Lulu apparently didn't have R still. I get the double Q. Nice. You see how tanky I am, though? This is why I love the Jack Show build. This is why it's the highest win rate build in the game. It's so funny. Look at Nocturne builds. Every single one of his top five builds has Ravenous Hydra in it right now. And guess what? It's not even a favorited item. Why, why is it not favorited? <laughs> this is a legit best item. Jack shows his second best item and technically best, best mythic right now. If you really don't want to play Jack Show Nocturne, you go for Stride Break. There's no reason to do that. Jack Show's super overtuned at the moment. Quinn got destroyed. Holy moly. Got my slow on Rengar. I spell shielded the Orianna R. We're all kind of low HP here, and I'm getting hit by random nonsense. I'm trying to slow them with my jungle item. 
I don't know why we're trying to surrender. I think Asante's having a mental breakdown. He's going in. He's like, why, why are we losing these fights? Yeah, that's exactly what he's trying to surrender. Like, dude, there's no reason to fight there. You can just group up on Dragon Fight and win the game by default. He's forcing the fight to where we can't really follow up. He's not waiting for some kind of a positional advantage or anything. He's just going in. They get dragon now. It's gone. Our whole team was low on health. I can't contest it. It's not worth me dying and them taking Baron. Even if I got dragon, if I died, they would just go take Baron. And that's not good. It's 300 gold for all of them. This doesn't seem to be awarded. Should always pull it into the bush, though. I'm on Ghost and Trail. I should be able to outrun these buttholes. If I can't, then there's something wrong with the game. This guy is really far out of position here. My, when I say this guy, I mean Cassante. You just, I, you can't fight that. Is he still going in? Why are we still fighting this? I don't know. It doesn't make any sense to me why we're still fighting that. Hopefully I can kill Rengar. He may have flash. Cassante needs to be patient. This is going way too ham. Just, it wasn't a good fight. We have to have some kind of positional advantage to go in on them. Otherwise, Aphelios can he can permakite with Lulu, Oriana, and Aphelios. Like they're all just permakiting. Triple ranged backline. I could honestly sit on the split. That, that's honestly the win con here is just one three one. None of them can solo me or our top. That's literally just the win con. Meanwhile, the Orion and Lulu, all they can do is sit there on a Aphelios' lap. You know? I can't actually peel off here to the side and come and fight me. Meanwhile, our support and AD carry have long enough range to... Um, just clear, kind of clear the waves. As long as the enemy team doesn't have Baron buff. It's kind of dangerous how far up I am up now and how far our top lane's up. I don't have a good escape tool outside of using my trail. It's really it. I don't know where Lulu is, so I'm hesitant to go in on this. Lulu is missing, but down's Rengar. So they could be hiding the shot. Yep, she's exactly what she's doing. She was literally hiding in the shadows. Hiding in the shadows, waiting. So we see where Felios is. Now they're split up. I don't know where the Lulu is yet. So now I see where the Lulu is. I can deal with this kick, this uh, Quinn. She just wasted her blind. She's dead. What is she doing? She's literally just dead. After she wasted blind, she has no way to scrape my spell shield. And now they lose. Sick. This is what I'm saying. You got to think about what your win con is. And understand how you can and can't win fights. We literally can't win 5v5 against them. Too much AoE on the Oriana, Lulu, and then they can perma kite for Aphelios. But if we split them, the Oriana and, and Lulu are useless. The Quinn is, like, they can't do anything. Because none of them can solo our top laner or me. This is when you run one top, three mid, one bot, and you win the game by default. You just got to be willing to make the adjustment. If you're unwilling to make the adjustment, you'll get really frustrated and not understand why you're losing. I'll run away later, my dude. Slowed her with my Q. I love red jungle item on Nocturne. Having AoE slows on your Q every time your item's up is pretty sick. I'll head over my head over. Wow, Rengar has as many items as I do. He's three full item with half the CS and like a third of my kills. Freaking wild.
Hey, Quinn. She's dead. She has nowhere to go. We get the fear. I'm going to make the enemies group up on me. Oh, you guys want to kill me? Sorry. I have Ghost. I'm not going to risk them getting a slow off. I'd rather Ghost early because Lulu popped her item. They lose Baron. I really wish he wouldn't do that, though. We need to keep keep them split. A Phalos is three full item with a Lulu Ori. Hit the Lulu with the Q. Maybe we could slowly scrape her down. This feels like a really bad fight now. Our AD carries low and Cassante is wanting to force. All we can do is try to let our minions do the work, but... Okay, Quinn goes down. And down goes Aphelios. That should be game. All we needed was Baron Supers. There's nothing they can do. GG's. Let's take a look at damage dealt, damage taken. Looking at damage dealt enemy champions, we had the second most in the whole game on kind of tanky Nocturne. I'm very, very, very happy with that. The only person who had more was a Aphelios. At the same time, he had two enchanters pilling for him and got lots of shutdown. It is what it is. For damage taken, we were towards the top of the graphs. Not bad for self mitigated. We were second highest, way behind our top laner, but still decent damage taken and mitigated compared to everyone else. For runes, high value. This Nocturne build's a lot of fun. I highly recommend it. Definitely give it a try. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is Kingsticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.